Bush on top of the gates. Set for the first. Swan River Vars Day. Ah! The Swan is listening. They're racing. The filly got a brilliant start. Mia Dolce. She began very quickly from Huru Lads and Lava Rod had jumped out well. So did Mordor. Further back behind those when they get going. Wicklow Princess being followed over on the outside is a bombshell. Also there deeper out is Rocky Path as they settle into stride. Further back significant hero. And then second last is Ex Celestial. The tail end of Western Eyes. Mia Dolce with that sling shot beginning leads them at the 450 the filly comes to the home corner traveling easily wicklow princess getting right up on the inside now into second spot into the home straight laver rod to the outside of huru lads about three or four from the leader who's being nursed at the 300 meter mark going very well mia dolce mia dolce with a big lead laver rods under heavy duress rocky path and down the outside starting to run on now is ex celestial it's mia dolce getting a little weary the post comes laver rods picking up rocky path mia Mia Dolce in front, she'll cling on. Mia Dolce from Labor Rod or Rocky Path. In behind them then came Ex Celestial making ground to grab fourth from Is a Bombshell. Wicklow Princess, significant hero, was next in. Western Eyes, a gap on the field to Mordor and dropping right out is Huru Lads to finish a long last. Mia Dolce, my sweet indeed, wins it here from... Uh, Probably Laver Rod, Rocky Path in this order. Brody Kirby extends that lead on the WA Metropolitan Apprentice Jockeys list. Didn't she show some dash out of the gates? It was like she'd been shanghaied from the stalls from where she'd drawn out there in 10. She was in front within 100. She was entitled to get a little tired late in the race. But she's done enough to hold on and what a wonderful season it has been and gives Jace Buckley his first success as a trainer. Mia Dolce, part owned by Jace and a patronised filly having her 13th start in a two-year-old season. Five wins, four placings and she's been there from the get-go and she's going to round out the season effectively as well. Lovely filly. Ridden by Brody Kirby, he nursed and nursed until well into the straight. Second placing has gone the way of four Laver Rod, Patrick Carberry. Number seven, Rocky Path, Troy Turner third. Fourth is number 10, Ex Celestial, a handy debut. 59 27, 35 2 0, the sectional, and a short neck and a short half head are the official margins. Okay, we'll uh, head out to uh, Britt Taylor as uh, she now heads across to catch up with Brody Kirby. Race two, the Valet Bruno Tonini handicap at 1.14, clear of changes there. As we say, a very good afternoon to Brittany Taylor with uh, the state's leading apprentice jockey, Brody Kirby, after that all-the-way win by the filly, Mia Dolce. Thanks very much, Darren. Brody, another win for this wonderful filly. But let's talk about that start. She absolutely slingshotted out of the gates. Yeah, she's... She's just a legend. You can always count on her to jump the barriers and she's just so quick. She's got that pace and you can bustle her out and then get her to settle under you and she's still got something reserved for the straight. So just, you, a, just a push button ride. You've ridden her throughout all of her campaign. Have you noticed much change in her or is it pretty much you just know what you're going to get with her? Well, Pikey's one on her from behind and um, she's just always showing that electric speed up barriers. So... We've always allowed her to stroll and she's been up a long horse and in my opinion it may be a bias but she's my two year old of the year. She's been in the whole season and she's never run a bad race. She's just so consistent and it's a, it's a credit to Jace Buckley who's done all the work, broke her in from the get go, kept her happy all this time and she hasn't turned sour on the sport. She's just, she's just always happy to be here. So. Credit to everyone involved. And it's great for Jace bringing up his first winner. A fair book of rides for you today on paper. It looks like a, a really nice book. It is a good book. Um, probably my best since I've been back. Um, it's nice to have a, rides for leading trainers and owners such as Bob Peters. So hopefully I can find a couple more today. All right, best of luck for the rest of the day. And isn't she just a delight? Go take her back. Yeah. It'll be hard to beat this story for the rest of the day. Jace Buckley's only had his trader's licence for a short time. Mia Dolce's his only horse, and she wins at a second race start under your care. Well done. Yeah, thanks very much, Gareth. It's um, 
it's really good to see her uh, get the win again today. So she's um, won five races from 13 starts. So that's a pretty good record. You also own 50% of her. Yeah. We only dream about this situation, yeah. don't we? Yeah, it um, worked out really good because um, my share doesn't cost me anything. So, and um, you know, she's probably uh, profited nearly 100,000 each for each owner. You know, so me and Giuliano. So. It's, um, yeah, it's been really good for both of us. Obviously, you love her, but the story behind her, she was purchased for $2,000 at the sales, but you've been with her from day one? Yeah, so I, um, I actually went to the sales. The sales were the Sunday. I went Saturday to the races and went and had a look at a few. Um, she's small. She looked like an early type, and I, sort of, I didn't want to buy anything that was going to take too much time. I sort of wanted a quick return, so... Um, yeah, we decided to get her. She's by Patronise and, um, you know, they run, they do anything. They run early, they run late. Um, very versatile horses, so um, I think it's where she gets a temperament from as well. Um, yeah, just, uh, I thought two grands a steal and if she wasn't much chop, it didn't really matter, you know. When you broke her room, what did you think? <laughs> well, she, we actually bought two at the sales. One took um, six weeks to break and one took um, nine days. She's fully broken in nine days, so that's just, you know, that's pretty good. And you're living the dream and she's got that gate speed to lead all of the way. She's had 13 starts this preparation. Do you continue to go on with her? Um, well, I, might, I might actually tip her out. I'm not too sure. Like, when she, when she didn't, when it was obvious she wasn't going to win black type as a two-year-old, I thought we'd just stick her through her classes and sort of see where we end up. Um, she seems pretty good. She's challenged some of the best two-year-olds in Perth and she's beaten pretty good two-year-olds. So um, I might stick her out now and head to some of the features later on. So You've done a lot of hard work to get where you are, but it's a beautiful game when you find a horse like this, Mia Dodd. So you go and give her a pat and congratulations, Jake. Oh, cheers, Gary.